Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, this. <laughs> uh, this is the top of my daughter's swing, and uh, there's a bit of a problem with it. So today we're going to fix it. So let's get on with it. So yes, this is my daughter's swing. Um, she spends hours on this swing, seriously. Talk about getting your money's worth. Um, now, when, I, when we first put it together, I made some changes to it. I made some modifications. Um, so basically the original design of this was this is just a coach bolt that goes through this U section of channel. Um, and the bolt just went through the link of the chain, uh, which I knew was gonna wear out very, very quickly. So what I did, hopefully you can see that in there, is I put in a V-groove bearing uh, with this um, shackle. So this actually rotates on the bolt and then therefore it's not rubbing on the bolt and wearing through it. However, there is another problem. Uh, we have noticed over time that this swing has started making a very strange noise. It clonks when she's swinging on it. And it just occurred to me last night what the problem is. And you can probably see from looking at the discoloration here. Now, this is just a section of channel. There is nothing in here to stop this from moving from side to side, which is fine. But what we have here is, um, actually, let me see if I can show you. Uh, I'm gonna go handheld for a second. This is gonna be fun. So, what we have here is a coach bolt with this uh, dome nut on the other end. So the dome nut is basically jammed on the bolt. But if you look through there, there is nothing holding that bolt open, if you like. It, it's not clamping on anything. And so what's happened, and you can kind of see the discoloration, it's basically wallowed out the hole. So when she's swinging on it, this bolt is moving backwards and forwards and clonking, going clonk, 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 clonk. So I'm gonna try and fix that. Let me put the camera back on the stand first before I give everyone motion sickness. There we go. So the first thing I want to do is put a pair of gloves on because this whole thing, as you can probably tell, is incredibly greasy because I spray it with um, open gear lubricant quite frequently so that it, uh, you know, doesn't rust or anything and keep the bearing lubricated. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm not sure if that's the right size socket actually. I oh, know it is. Uh, so I'm going to pop this one out and we'll take a look at it. Right. Now, now am I going to be able to get this bolt out? Oh yeah. So, there is the bearing, and as you can see, it rides on this, and it stopped the bolt from wearing out. But you can see, hang on, let me put this down for a second, because it's really heavy. Oh. All right, I just wanted to show you, actually, while I was uh, taking this apart, this is the bolt that I just took out. Um, and this kind of demonstrates very ably what I'm talking about. So this groove here, the, ew, covered in grease. This groove here, and you see that, this was when it was the swing was first put together and according to the instructions with the chain directly onto the bolt. Um, and I, I knew what was gonna happen, so I went and ordered some bearings. And in the two days it took the bearings to turn up, that's how, the, how much the chain had worn through the bolt. So, yeah. Um, and on the other side here, if you look here, you can see there's another groove starting to form. That is from the uh, bracket, where it's been moving in the bracket and it started to wear through. So, yeah. As you can see, it's not only a maintenance thing, it's also a safety thing, because eventually that bolt would have snapped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace that and I'm gonna pack it so that I can clamp it up tight. Let me show you what I've got. Right. So what I have here 
is a flange bolt. Uh, it's the same length as the other one. Focus. Uh, and I have a stainless steel nylock uh, nut. These are all MA metric. And I also have a whole bunch of 8 mil stainless steel washers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back together, but I'm going to pack the bearing each side so that when I tighten the bolt up, it will actually clamp it up. Let me start putting it together and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so what we want to do is put the bolt through there, put a couple of washers on it. Like that. Might need more than a couple actually. Let's put three. Like that. Stay. Now, oh god, this is disgustingly greasy. Should have wiped the whole thing down first, shouldn't I, really? <laughs> um, right, let's just get the bearing in first. Oh, and of course I put it on the ground so now it's all covered in grass. Because what we want to do is make sure that um, we have sufficient... Oh, that's what I didn't want to happen. Right, I think that's probably going to need about four washers on it. Okay, let's put let's put two more washers on there, and then this is where the fun's really going to start. Right, so now we've got to try and get this all back into place which is going to be hilarious because this is all extremely heavy ah. right stay stay this is one of those jobs where you could use like four pairs of hands Because what I need to do is lift this up, try and get the washers in, and line it all up at the same time. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Well, I suppose there's no reason why I can't put all the washers on one side. Because if I put them on the outside, it'll keep the bearing in the middle. Because obviously the bearing wants to go in when she's swinging on it. So that might work. But I'd like to keep it in the centre if I can. Of course, what I could have done, which would have been much more simple, would have been to have took this bracket off and done it all on the floor. But where's the fun in that? Right, let's see if we can get this. Oh, that actually went much easier than I thought. I've only put two in there. It could probably have done with three. But I think when I do it up, this will deflect slightly. So let's put a washer on the outside. Or the inside, as it were. Uh, and get our nut started. Now, uh, oh, I need an Allen key to do that, don't I? <laughs> right, let's do this up. Now what we can do is tighten this down. Like that. And there you go, you see, hopefully, you can see that bearing is still moving. But the bolt is now clamped. Let's just nip that and make sure it's up good and tight. Ah. 
yeah that's perfect wonderful stuff and it's actually dead in the middle which is kind of weird but um there you go so that's uh that's it really obviously i've got to do the other side but um hopefully that will solve the problem so what we'll do in a minute when i've got this done is we'll get my daughter to come out and she can have a swing on it and see what it does Right, as it turns out, my daughter's just turned up. Hello, Katie. Hello, Katie. So you can demonstrate the problem. So what I want you to do is get on the swing and swing. But there's dead poop on it. Just get on the swing and swing, child. I don't think this side is quite as bad. Now I've fixed the worst side. Right, you hear that clunk? No. No, I think I fixed it. <laughs> Keep going. Right. So what was happening is that bolt, which I've now replaced, was moving backwards and forwards, which it now isn't. And it turns out the other one is actually... Oh, actually, you can see it. Uh, can you see the way the head of that bolt is moving backwards and forwards? It's not clunking like the other one was, but it is moving. So I'll replace that one as well. But I think that will actually quite nicely solve the problem. So uh, yeah, let me do that and then we'll wrap this thing up. I've got a raindrop in my eye. Well, there you go, you can stop swinging now. Right, swing child. There you go, that's better. The only thing we've got to do now is fix where one of the legs has started coming out of the concrete in the ground, which is a nuisance. But that can be for another day. So, are you happy with your non-clonky swing, child? Mine would be 10. Mm. No great surprises there. <laughs> anyway, this has worked out very well. So, um, as ever, I'd like to thank my top-tier patrons, uh, Howard, Amy and Hawaii Clivo, for their continued support. And of course, all of you other lovely people and channel members and patrons and everyone at home, very much appreciated. Uh, just a little bit of nonsense. And we will see you on the next one. Say goodbye, Katie. Goodbye, Katie. All right, cheers. Bye. You know the mic's still on, right? What? You know the mic's still on, right? Well, you don't need to add that bit. Oh, but I think I do. Oh, but I don't think you do. I'm sure I do. I don't think you do. Comment if you heard this bit. Say, um, what should they say if they heard this bit? Pineapple. Pineapple. If you comment pineapple, it meant you listened right to the end. <laughs>